Hey you all, Carpetbagger here. I'm joined today by John from Exploration Unknown. And we're at the Salton Sea out here in California. This is, for those uninitiated, this is a ocean. A salty ocean in the middle of the desert that really has no good reason to be here. Uh, in the early 1900s, there was an irrigation accident, a flooding a salt plain, and then the people saw this and were like, well, this is awesome. Now we have an ocean in the middle of the desert. So they set up all these resort towns around the Salton Sea, and it didn't go very well. Um, the salt killed all the fish that they tried to introduce. There was just rotten fish smell everywhere. The, uh, the There was the, the, the sea would flood and destroy buildings, and it's just kind of turned into an apocalyptic hellhole. Um, there's still a lot of just abandonment along the, the sea, um, but one thing new, I've been here before, but one thing I'm seeing new is that there's a lot of art popping up, different uh, like found art, people taking <laughs> broken things and, and turning them into pieces of art. So me and John, we're gonna explore around and uh, check out the Salton Sea. Follow us. Last time I was here, there was all just like ripped down trailers in this area, but it looks like someone has constructed from the leftover wood, they've constructed a pirate ship, and that is actually really cool. I love this. Yeah, look at this, different pieces of recycled wood. Yeah, someone has placed a giant disco ball right here on the beach. Check out this old boat left here on the beach. It's been painted. If you peek inside, looks like a lot of people have left their mark. Wait a minute, look over here. There's bunnies living under this boat. And they're like they're like pet bunnies. They're like got pet bunny colors. Hey boat bunny, what are you doing? Hey, hey there. Oh, someone's been leaving food and water for the boat bunnies. Hey there. I see you, Boat Bunny. Don't run from me, let me pet you. Hey, Bunny. Okay, he doesn't He doesn't want to be bothered, I guess. Hey, Boat Bunny, what are you doing? Oh, where are you going? Don't run into the sea. It's a beautiful rabbit. See a little dragon popping up there through the sand. This looks like the remnants of maybe an old trailer here. Some artistic additions. Yeah, these spots here, these are old trailers that have basically disintegrated from the salt. All right, I guess this is affectionately known as the trash tree, and it certainly lives up to his name. It's, it's made of trash. Look at this big, weird, floating cube. Yeah, very little left of these destroyed homes. There's a chair left behind. Oh, look at that. So that's a mouth. Whew, getting a really strong smell over here, like the dumpster behind a Long John Silver's. And look at that, out in the water. We have a little swing. It looked pretty majestic, but I don't think I would ever swing on that. Uh, here's a little doorway to the beach area. We got a little mailbox here, I guess, for people to live, uh, leave their urbex uh, stickers. This guy's called Forbidden Exploration. Hmm. I forbid you to explore his channel. <laughs> Is uh, anyone home? See, there's no reason for a door because there's no walls. See, as you get closer to the actual beach, you come to the shocking realization, this is not sand. This is bones. It's just 100% fish bones. Sand is bones. The sand is bones. Yeah, look at that little boat out in the water. Now you can see that big smiley face on this uh, piece of industrial equipment. I don't know if it's a crane or what but you can just see where it's been uh, rotting away and just how embedded. Look at that, it's the, just the, such a salt. It's just salt just, that has become 
part of the crane. The crane has become more salt than crane at this point. Check this out. Someone's built a church right here on the beach. You can see they have uh, stained glass windows, which I'm really impressed that no one has smashed those. That's that's nice. And appears to be a, like a sword on the cross there. Looks like they would maybe start fires in this little pit. It's more beach artwork over here. It's this giant star, and it says "Do not climb," and it is covered in razor wire. So can't imagine who would really want to climb that. And then no idea what these unique structures are. They almost look like slides. Look at that. That's a that's a welcoming sign right there. You can do a little water skiing while we're here. Now here's a very interesting compound. Uh, not really sure what's going on here. I guess this is this is a bomb. Oh wow, this is actually sold by <laughs> Sotheby's International Realty. Very impressive. It is a shelter of some sort. Save the fallout. Teddy bears of Bombay. See there's a old boat around the side. And just look at that. There is like, it says watch the news, stay inside for 24 hours, don't run. Which, uh, interesting phrases on the side of this building. And then there's toxic waste in the shed. Well, let's check out this fallout shelter. Oh, look at that. There's a TV. It says, breathe now. This studio is not abandoned. Joe owns it. It says the studio rules, or the shelter rules, no stealing. Be respectful, enjoy yourself. Live aloha, love the bears. Are there bears in here? I don't see any bears. There's the Guinness Book of World Records with Wadlow on the cover. Oh, that's not Wadlow. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be showing that. So I gather from reading this, hippies are allowed, but there's no hipsters. It's interesting, you can see just a lot of waste, but like over there, that blue house, there's someone living there with a car. And then there's this. It's a trailer right here. Ooh, there's a fold-out bed in here. It's a little bit left behind. There's this weird jar of yellow liquid. Oh, look at that green shag carpet. It looks like someone took the air conditioner. Look, there's a bunch of clothing in this old trailer. Hello? Oh, look, this one says, I love you. Oh, this is like, a, this is old. This is like, you can see it's, it's wooden. This right here. It's a genuine outhouse. Imagine how, I don't know how old that would be. Wow. That trailer's got a little lighthouse up on the roof. about the emergency code. This uh, nautical theme carries inside. We got this uh, ship wheel table. Oh my gosh, there's like still covers on the bed. This trailer has a big scary monster on the side of it. Can 
feel the whole building shifting as I walk. It's Mother Mary and Jesus. Abandon hope? No, no, no. Always hang on to hope. <laughs> the curtain's still up in the toilet. Oh, cabinets up there. Not sure what this structure was. Birds. What's wrong? A bunch of birds just flew out. Oh yeah, birds are scary. Yeah, there's a lot of stickers and graffiti in here. It doesn't look like that. Whoa! It's a pigeon. Look at these boots here. Yeah. Looks like someone killed someone and left these as a trophy. That's probably, it's probably over dramatic, probably, right? Just a little. Someone probably just threw their shoes away and someone nailed them to the wall. I can't argue with this one. Never let the dream killers win. Yeah, some of the artwork here is pretty striking. I was going in some of these abandoned buildings out west. I've been seeing this a lot, this poetry by Boots. What is this? the spice is that sage maybe yeah I don't know exactly what this building is it's almost like a some sort of florist some sort of abandoned floral shop it's an incredibly interesting uh, like windmill house right there see all these paper cranes in the fence here not sure what this is. I think it's some sort of foundation. This looks like the Bombay Beach Opera House. Maybe we need to come back and check out an opera. Oh, wow. You look in there and the walls are completely paved with flip-flops. That's actually pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I like opera. Little trailer over here. It's this sign say it says a dream in death, and there's actual petrified salt fish nailed to the sign. And also inside there's a ball pit slash casket. Out back they have this wonderful giant clam. What's in there, John? This is an art thing full of men's and women's underwear with messages they've left behind. So people leave their underwear? And then they leave messages on it. Like, now I realize I hide secrets from myself. There's some, actually some about sexual abuse yeah. that I see. This is absolutely fascinating. Yes, it is. Who's this? Confessional. I guess this is the room you go in where you make these confessions. And what's behind this curtain? Oh my gosh. I guess this is the dead fish room. Those are all dead fish. Blah! What's in here? This is... Now, I... I don't know, like... I'm looking at this. It has to be an optical illusion, but it's... It's like in 3D in real life. John, come here. Look at that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, it's like it's standing out from the It's water. like it's floating. Out. It really does look 3D. I don't know how they accomplished that effect, but it, and I don't know if you guys are able to pick that up, but it's, it translates okay. really it stands out and looks 3D. Oh wow, this, this whole little area, all these little trailers and buildings have just been turned into like this interactive art exhibit and it's absolutely amazing. There's this big pink trailer here labeled Museum Number Two. 
Let's see what's inside. Look at this. This is a piano or? Okay, this is a cardboard piano. Makes a lot of sense. This uh, exhibit is on loan and oh my. Looks like someone stole uh, whatever was, oh my gosh. I, I don't know, I don't know what it was. I almost broke it, but uh, someone stole this exhibit. What's, oh, you go into the, the bathroom and there's just plungers stuck everywhere. It's amazing. Oh my God. Here's Johnny. What's in here? Um, okay. I, is this, is it supposed to be like, some sort of, some sort of big winding brown something? I don't know. Okay, apparently in addition to being called museum number two, it has a, another name. There's a little pool right here. I guess this is like shag carpet. Yeah, it has a pile of babies. That's, that's so random. Ooh, you can pick them up. Babies. <laughs> John! What? What is this place? I have no idea. We're in some kind of alternate universe. Makes sense. This is like, this, this is, is like, like, this is like Meow Wolf, but, but scaled down without money. This, this is like Meow Wolf. This is no like money. scary in the middle of nowhere Meow Wolf. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this is like supposed to. So wait a minute. It's just power in here. Yeah. And you turn these. Here. You turn these fans on. These fans on. Uh, wait a minute. Is this called Beyonce? One eight hundred Beyonce. And so, what's the photo op? You stand here. Well, if you're a girl in a dress or hair, you can get your hair blowing. Okay. Up. Hold your skirt down like Marilyn Monroe. But now you're just a guy standing in an ocean of toilet brushes. With fans that feel really nice in this hot desert. So who's Sweet. Who's, who's laughing now? Uh -huh. Well-stocked cabinets there. This is Bombay Beach Estates. They're not looking too, uh, too swanky these days. Sometimes it's hard to tell what is vandalism and what is art. These interesting pink spears jammed through this building. Yeah, there's all these pink things in here. This is, oh, okay. I'm voting art. I think this is art. You can actually see this. This used to be a legit gated community. There's actually solar lights under these palm trees. And it has just been wiped away. And now transforming into this interesting new environment. This is the, it says to the land of gold and wickedness. I don't know if they're talking about California. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's almost like some Howard Finster style folk art in here. Yeah, amongst all this waste is a natural history museum. Sadly, this appears to be the only building that's sealed off. Uh-oh, someone's thrown up the evil eye right there okay this is the business center and there's a there's a mailbox here but it says it was closed down due to violation of animal right for ignoviance i don't know here's the the boardroom right there here's someone's big red boat i wonder what they've been doing in there Sad songs on that toilet. This little area here is closed off, but you can see some interesting things that says postmodern portal. Yeah, so so odd. You can just see like it's a facade of a of a room. A little bit of a junk cathedral there. It's this environment just, just ruins turned into art is so amazing. I mean just look at that. 
Look at that cow on that roof. This is pretty fascinating. It's these mannequins out here. Now this is unexpected. Uh, there is a jet right there. If you look up, it's been turned into this bizarre uh, tower that uh, you can climb up in. Fortunately, this, this fence is locked. They don't want us in here, but yeah, look at that. I really love this setup right here. That's an amazing, a second story Airstream trailer. What is this right here? Oh, look at that. What is this thing? It just... It's amazing is what it is. Do all these spin? No. Oh, yeah. These over here don't spin. Some of them spin. Yeah, look at this. Just on this dirt mound. We have a perfect little living room set up. Now this, John? Mm-hmm. This is the desert life right here. This is the desert life. Hey, Jacob. What? Can you get me a beer next time you get up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me grab it. There's your, your, your beer. Thank I don't, you. I wouldn't drink that actually. It's, is that wine? It's actually wine, yeah. It's Ardenay. It's The cap wasn't on. Oh, I'm not gonna drink it. I was at the Salton Sea just a, a few years ago and it has changed in, in, in unbelievable ways. You know, like I said before, this was a this was a this was a dream that, that they would make a, a resort town in, a, in an accident. An accidental lake led to a resort town, which led to an abandoned town, which is now re-emerging like a, like a rose growing through the concrete into this amazing art community. I absolutely love what they are doing here. Museum number two was about the craziest thing I've ever stumbled upon. Um, yeah, I love this and I'm, I'm interested. You can see it's still being constructed. There's still art being added. I'd love to come back here and then see how it progresses. I appreciate you guys watching. If you'd like to see other um, places I've been, I have an interactive map down in the description. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt. Consider donating to Patreon a $3 donation or more. We'll get you postcards once a month. But for now, this one's in the bag.